Here's Johnny! Three, two, one, action. <laughs> All right. By well, now you know where I am. This is my regular venue that I do, obviously. There's the bride and groom getting their photos taken outside. This is the bridal table and the DJ booth over there. So I'll tell you what's going on with the 3 2 1 action. For those of you that don't know Naveen, this gig log goes out to Naveen. How you going, buddy? He helped me out with this one, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But first, I'll just show you what I'm doing here. Something a little bit different uh, than I've done at this venue in the past. I decided to put the speakers on the floor there because it's such a long dance floor. Um, obviously, just to spread the sound out a little bit. I've filled the stage easily by making the DJ Skirt Pro booth into the six foot configuration. Normally I use the four foot configuration. I'm using the six foot configuration tonight. So I fill up the stage nicely. And normally under here I would be using the uh, par bars, but I've only got three. So it wouldn't have worked, so I've had to use the cars. Okay, this is the reason for the big shout out to Naveen. They obviously wanted some uh, Bollywood music, they've got an Indian heritage, and I had no idea what to get. So I asked Naveen, I said, hey, send me a list of hot Bollywood music, some of the more popular ones, and this is what he sent me. So if anyone else has got any other suggestions, let me know. And for those people that are interested in getting some Bollywood music, there you go. These are the ones that he recommended, or well, most of them, some of them I couldn't find. But uh, we'll see what happens later on, huh? I always tell them, when I sit them down, the bride and groom, like months before the wedding, I always tell them, um, you know, please make sure that you don't seat older or hearing sensitive people close to the speakers. And what happens? Every wedding, I find old people sitting as close to the speakers. So uh, I always, on the night anyway, is walk, the, walk around to the closest tables around the speakers and just ask them if it's too loud. Uh, now I'm not, you know, people that have been doing weddings for ages, they know all this, so I'm not telling you to suck eggs. There's a lot of new blokes and there are always new people coming along. That's why I'm doing it. Here you go, Naveen, my first official Bollywood song that I've played. That's the first one. Bit of background music. The bride over there. I'm not sure if she's enjoying it or not, really. I'll get back to you when they start dancing. What a difference a day made. My lonely nights are through day.
Come on, this looks like a party, but it doesn't sound like a party. Come on, it's here for Give you a look from the other side. It's the only chance I've hit. I just wanted to prove to you that uh, it's not always all cheese at weddings. So this is the farewell circle, apparently it originated in Australia. All the guests make a circle and in the centre of the circle you do a circle of the parents, which is there. So the bride and groom go around and say goodbye to all their friends and then they say goodbye to their parents in the centre of the circle. And while all this is going on, you've got to play some goodbye songs, very cheesy songs. Uh, like after this I'm going to play um, Another One Bites the Dust and before this I play The Beatles when I'm 64. That's the farewell circle.